Now there are just a few secrets to remember when rolling out your pie crust. So let's take our little pie balls over here and we'll put them in the freezer and we'll get this started. I really like to use a pie crust mat and you can purchase these at any kitchen supply store. They're great because once I've rolled out the dough, I can just flip it right onto my pie pan and out it comes. I'll tell you about this little secret in a minute. Then, a very light rolling pin is also a great idea. This is meant so that you can put in ice cold water in here and it keeps the crust really, really easy to roll out. But if you don't have a rolling pin like this, you can simply flour it really heavily and it'll work just as well. So let's open our little ball and we'll roll this out. I'll take a generous helping of flour. You want to make sure that your dough doesn't stick to the countertop or to your rolling surface and then gently knead it with your fingers till it's about as big as your hand. Then flip it over, flour it again, and we're ready to roll it out. Gently press on your pie crust and it's okay if you have little things like this. All you do is munch them back together. The idea about the pie crust is you want it so, so thin because as it bakes, it'll poof just a little bit. If you need to add a little bit more flour on the top so it doesn't stick to your rolling pin, go ahead and do that. Very, very thin. And it'll be much bigger, probably, than your pie tin or your glass pie dish. I really like to use glass when I make pies. It just turns out wonderful nice and thin. I know that it's thin enough when I can see the design of my rolling mat underneath. <laughs> so I would say just as almost paper thin as you can roll it out without cracking it. Now the important reason to do the pie crust to roll it out when it's cold is it just doesn't tear. It's much better. If you have a warm pie crust it tends to melt a little bit and you can't get it too thin. There, just like that. Now, we're going to flip this over into our pie plate and then we'll trim the pie crust. Now you want to make sure that once you've rolled out your pie crust, it's at least two or three inches bigger than your pie pan because we're going to flute it and it's going to be a lovely pattern. So simply put your pie dish right in the middle of the dough and then gently flip it right over. Now if, you've had an, if you have enough flour on your board, it should just peel right off. That's a beauty. Now we're going to place this right inside so it's nice and tucked in and we're going to trim our pie crust. Just make sure to, by lifting it a little bit and then tucking it down into the sides, you'll have a lot of overhang, but just make sure it's nicely tucked all the way around. Now, I'll just take a knife and I will cut off anything extra beyond about an inch. So you can see I have an inch overhang and I'm going to let it be all the way around the pie. If you were making a double crusted pie and you wanted to cut out some really pretty leaves, this would be a great way to use your excess pie dough. Sometimes I'll take the excess and I'll cut out leaves, then I'll sprinkle them with cinnamon sugar and put them on top of my pumpkin pie, and it's just beautiful. Now this side, all the way around. You can see this gets a little messy, but it's worth every bit of mess in the end. This turns out flaky and light and delicious. All right.